Now, this drill you're seeing me do here quite literally changed my golf game. It got me to where I now shoot regularly under par pretty much every round I play and quite often shooting in the 60s. And what this is, this is a drill that really helped me get my pressure onto my lead side earlier, which helped me tremendously in my sequencing and helped me tremendously with my quality of strike. And it was given to me by my coach, Lee Cox. Extremely great long drive coach as well. Definitely should check him out. Got a few videos here on YouTube from quite a while ago. Great, great coach. So this drill I did throughout the winter time. So this one, really grinding it for probably six months or so, maybe even a little bit longer. Now, how I went about doing this, I'll do it just like this. I'll get up to the top of my back swing. I'll have my swing plate here. So it's just outside my right side of my head. So I'll get up to the top. I would then get my pressure left, slam that heel down, and then I would swing through and hit the shot from there. So what this was training me to do was get my pressure down earlier. So again, I would get up to top, full backswing, pressure left, swing through. So I would have the tendency in my golf swing to get up to the top of my swing and then for my left heel to take pretty much three quarters of my downswing to be able to get back down towards the ground. So that mean a very late shift of pressure. And by then I would have no base to really use any vertical movement going for the golf ball. So it really reduced a lot of speed in my golf swing as well. So if my pressure was shifting late, then I'd have to do other movements to compensate. I'd have to side bend to be able to really feel any type of power through the shot. And if I had too much side bend, so side bend's good, but too much, not so much, if I did too much of it, I'd hit this stick. So this stick was here to really have just extra encouragement for me not to have excessive side bend. But if I was getting that heel slamming down, getting that pressure into the ground and then turning through there, I'm gonna have much more of a stable base to be able to whip through that golf ball. So this really helped to multiple fronts for me. It helped with my power generation, using more vertical force. It helped me with my rotation, had more of a stable base to be able to rotate. And it really helped me with my quality of strike as well, not having too much excessive side bend and saved my lower back as well. It was starting to hurt my lower back, doing it in the wrong way. So just getting up to the top, slamming the heel down, turning through. And what we would do at times, we would add a speed element to it. Of course, Lee Cox is a very famous long drive coach, best long drive coach in the world, world leader in his information. And we would add a little speed element by going as fast as I can with my rotation going through. Really, as our saying would be, hammer hard with the chest through the golf ball. That was really our key, because that, for me, sped up my rotation a little bit. So if you guys struggling with your quality of strike, struggling with your rotation, maybe struggling to get that low point forward, huge huge for you maybe you're excessively side bending so side bend's great but we don't want too much of it so have a go at this drill get up to top pause heel down swing through hard drill but very very beneficial long-term drill did it for six months every time when i'm feel like i'm a little bit off my game i go straight back to it so if you enjoyed this video click that like button if you want more golf instruction just like this hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So give this drill a little try, it's absolutely brilliant.